Hey Glow Babes! Welcome to Glow Radio! My name is Jacqueline. And my name is Clara. We are two boss babes from Vancouver and we'd love for you to join us on our journey as we build our empire and live our best lives. Stay tuned for real girl talk and sassy good vibes. And don't forget to subscribe and tag us on Instagram at Glow Radio Co. Stay sassy babes! Pass out the, the champagne. <laughs> <laughs> Making it so fancy. Yes! Cheers! <laughs> Cheers to our first ever guest. For ever us. Guest. Yes, oh first guest. Okay. Yes, our so first guest. So we're very guest. excited. Welcome to episode nine, I think it is. This is my friend Flora. She is a fashion style, lifestyle vlogger, and we're just so excited to have her with us today. I'm so excited. Yeah. To, like, this is amazing. We're having our first guest. Yeah, hey, I'm excited yes. too. And I yes. get to meet you. I've heard about you, and I'm you just like, who is this girl? <laughs> so today, we're just going to ask her some questions. She's going to share with us. And tips and life hacks on how to be an influencer. How to be a boss babe, yes. pretty much. How to be a boss babe. So I'm going to pull up mine. Try. <laughs> boss babes only. <laughs> how about you tell us about yourself and how you got started on social media? Social media? Um, I started a couple years ago, so I was working full time. Um, it was just a way for me to be girly and yeah. a little bit superficial, stuff I couldn't do while I was at work. Um, I did marketing for a tech company, it was a startup, and it was a great job, I loved my job, but it yeah. wasn't a fashion forward environment. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I didn't even have a blog at the time, I started mm. posting on Instagram and I did it every single day, I did three posts a day, I was really strict with myself about that and I would post while I walked to work during lunch and when I walked home from work. And that is the life. <laughs> yes, I had to. Um, and eventually, after um, almost a year, people started paying attention to me and yeah. I could start making a little bit of real money. Um, mm -hmm. I still had to work full time, but I ended up quitting over a year ago. No. Were you discouraged um, in the beginning? Were you like, oh my God, like, I'm not getting enough followers? Um, I didn't start and think, oh, I want to make money and become yeah. a full-time blogger doing this. Yeah. So, no, not in the beginning. Uh -huh. um, but, you know, along the journey, other things did discourage yeah. me, yes. But in the beginning, I think... Um, I actually wasn't a very big social media user in the beginning. I was the last of all my friends to join Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> oh my so yeah. it was just fun for me when I started doing it. I just loved yeah. having a pretty feed and it was mm. more for myself and yeah. followers were just a bonus. When I got my first sponsored post, I, like it was $30, but I was so happy. Oh my God. And it was the best Which brand was it? It was, um, I can't remember it off the top of my head because I, don't work with them anymore now, but it was a Swedish jewelry mm. brand. Oh okay. my gosh. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. And how far into your like journey did you get that collaboration? Like, How far were you? Um, I had 3,000 followers, so I'm going to say like six, seven months. Okay. It was over, yeah, like over half a year, but still under a year. Okay, yeah. that's pretty awesome. I know. They're yeah. kind of just like, oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. I can't imagine, like, just getting that message. She's like, hey, would you do yeah. this? And you were like, yes, <laughs> yes, yes I'll do it for free. free. Yeah, exactly. And, yeah. it, like, that's when I realized, oh, my God, I can really um, make a living doing this. I just mm. thought it would be, like, free stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I didn't think totally. that it could be my living. I knew other girls did it, but I didn't think that I could ever do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I was looking at your Instagram. Obviously, I'm a creep. I'm just creeping. Yeah, yeah. Where do you pull inspiration for your shoots? Uh, well, when I travel, um, I really like architecture, so if I see a pretty building, then I'll take a photo in front of there, or a really pretty street, mm -hmm. but while I'm at home, um, in Vancouver, I actually shoot at the same places most of the time, um, I guess my inspiration, it just from the people that I follow, so if I scroll through my yeah. feed and I see something I like, you know, obviously they probably won't be from Vancouver, I'll mm -hmm. try and recreate it in my own way, yeah, yeah, and my backgrounds I do prefer them to be more minimal so I mm -hmm. think I know the different areas that work for yeah. me now so I really like Railtown um there's some buildings near my place and around downtown that I really like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay that's pretty cool I know. so yeah. what would you say are your top like three tips for someone who wants to be an influencer today that's just starting out yeah yeah that's just starting um, out be consistent mm -hmm. so people get discouraged easily and um just 
don't compare yourself to anyone else. Mm -hmm. So one, yeah. I mean, I still do it now sometimes where I'll see a really pretty feed and I'll be like, oh, I wish mine was like that. But then I look at my own and I'm like, it's fine. I'm just different. Yeah, yeah. And that works for me. Yeah. So um, be consistent. Don't compare yourself to others. Um, and reply to all your comments mm. in the beginning. Ooh. So I reply to every single comment in the beginning. Yeah. Um, and that's how you start building your following when you say only have like maybe even a hundred followers. But how do you <laughs> tackle creepers though? Just or spam. Market is spam. Like if they're like, yeah, hey that's, baby, that's give me your number. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, usually not for me, not in the comments, but I get messages. Um, I haven't gotten anything super, super creepy. Just, yeah. you know, people trying yeah. to say hi. Um, but they go in the separate inbox. You know how there's like a separate DM. Oh, box? oh okay. yeah, yeah. So yeah. Um, then you can just decline it and it's fine. But yeah. if, if it's someone yeah. asks me, "Hey, where are your shoes from?" or maybe it's a photographer who's coming to Vancouver and yeah. want a shoot or something, I'll always reply even if it's not a yes. Oh okay. yeah, yeah. That's so good. I yeah. think with the algorithm too, you have to reply to everyone. Mm -hmm. Um, to oh, be in order. higher. Okay. I can't confirm that, but I've heard yeah. that. So. You know, I think I've seen that too, yeah. where you need to be active, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and other people are active on your posts, and then yeah, that way you yeah. can like, gain more followers. Be more social on yeah. social, on social media. media. Yeah, right? <laughs> is that what social media is yeah. for? I have no idea. Yeah. yeah. Where would you say your favorite places are to shop for, like clothing, handbags? Uh, hmm. I shop online, mm -hmm. <laughs> so I uh, I really like Shopbop, okay, um, yeah. and I really like Revolve as well. Um, if I'm not shopping online, then obviously Nordstrom. Yeah. I really like Aritzia. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think. Club Monaco, I love Club oh, Monaco. Yeah, so I oh my god, wish I, I could own more things. Yeah, there, but <laughs> the whole store. It's like so <laughs> pricey though. Yeah, 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 yeah. My my yeah. Club Monaco, if you're listening, yeah. Flora's here. Flora's here. Flora's here. Flora's here. Flora's here. She will model. Yeah. It's okay. Mm -hmm. uh, what about your beauty brands? Like, what are your favorite ones? Um, I love Charlotte Tilbury. Oh, yeah. Um, so, I've been using a lot of their um, lipsticks lately, mm -hmm. but actually, the foundation I've been using for years is the Giorgio Armani mm -hmm. Luminous foundation. Okay, yeah. I've repurchased probably a dozen, well, maybe not a dozen times, like six times. So <laughs> That's yeah. still, it's still a lot. That's, a lot. That's like loyalty. Yeah, 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 and it's yeah. expensive, but totally worth it. It's yeah. something I'd splurge on. I actually really like L'Oreal, mm -hmm. so anything okay. that they make. Um, mm -hmm. It is pretty great. I really like their sugar scrub, so ooh, ooh, I, I, I know, that. we're like, ooh, I've never tried mm -hmm. that. <laughs> so I'd say those are my favorite. Okay, brands. awesome. What about like skincare? Skincare, um, so the Charlotte Tilbury, they have mm -hmm. um this it's called the goddess skin clay mask. Oh yes, I've it's seen that. amazing. Yeah. And you just need a little bit. Uh I'm just trying to think of what I consistently use because I do like trying new things, but yeah. I don't yeah. really purchase them. Well, the L'Oreal scrubs, um, that's for skincare, that's what mm -hmm. I used to exfoliate, and I have all three, like, flavors. <laughs> yeah. so I'm going to say that that's one of my favorites, yeah, and it's yeah. really affordable. Um, one brand that I actually really like is, uh, um, it's, I forget what it's called, but it's, um... Glossier. Oh, oh yes, my yes. God. So Jacqueline's on about right. that like all uh, yeah, the time. Totally because it's skincare and makeup. Yeah, 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 totally. So I do want to repurchase a few products from there. I just haven't yeah. finished the first batch mm -hmm. yet. I, I love their tried. I love their blush. Like, Where I can I get it though? Online, online. They ship to Canada. Oh, is it they online Canada, only? Yeah, yeah. They or do. if you're ever in New York, they have a really cute showroom. I yeah. haven't been, but okay. I heard just like okay, I guess we can go. I guess we a work trip. What would you say is your biggest challenge in what you do? Oh, uh, there is a lot. <laughs> um, I mean, so I do it full time now. Mm -hmm. So consistently um, getting collaborations and yeah. being paid on time is actually a challenge because Ooh. that's just the nature of the oh. industry, though. Um, sometimes, like, people are really good with paying, mm -hmm. um, and sometimes maybe, like, it'll take. 60 days or more oh, okay. um but there might be one month too where i have so many collaborations and it's great and i'm really busy but and then the next month it'll be a little slower oh, so okay. i'm just gonna ha that's just something i have to yeah. adapt to um and disciplining myself with my own work schedule because i do technically have an open schedule i don't yeah. have to be at a desk anytime to any time awesome. but um <laughs> So maybe I'll just be doing emails at home on like a Monday afternoon and someone's like, oh, like, let's go get lunch or let's go to happy hour. I've had to 
train myself to say no mm-hmm. because that's time I've blocked off for myself to work. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah. Even if I do have a free schedule. So yeah. <laughs> sometimes people don't get it, but yeah. Um, I, yeah, yeah. I, I just need to let them know. Like that actually yeah, was I, one of my questions. Was like, do you have a set schedule? Um, no. Um, every day is different. Mm-hmm. So I, I don't um, sit myself down. Say from like ten to four every day doing uh-huh. emails, and then the other time I'll be doing content. It just depends on my content calendar too. Mm-hmm. So what um, partnerships I have to work on. So maybe if I'm not as busy, then I'll have more time dedicated to emails. But if I have a really busy week where there's a lot of content due. I'll just be shooting mm, that's for fair, most yeah. of the week, and then I won't have time to sit down and do those emails. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it's all, it's kind of like a variety. Yeah. Like whoever says, like, oh, we'll meet this day on this time, obviously, you're not like, I have to answer emails. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. If you don't want to make plans meet with me in advance, absolutely, but I had to let myself say no to the last minute things mm, because that's fair, yeah. then I'm just screwing myself over and I end up doing emails at like 11 p.m. Yeah, yeah you don't, you don't always do that. Yeah. You don't do that. <laughs> then you won't sleep and then you're yeah, no. um, Who are some of your favorite collaborations that you've done that in I've the past? Done? Um, I really like working with Lulu's, which is an online mm-hmm. clothing oh, brand. Yes. Um, and uh, when I've worked with L'Oreal, I've always had a good time because I do really like their products mm-hmm. and it's affordable yeah. um, and accessible so Mm -hmm. um I'd say those two are my favorites um I do have some new ones coming up that I'm really excited about yeah but of course it's a secret right yeah I had to sign (laughs) yeah yeah of course (laughs) yeah (laughs) that's always exciting it's it's fashion yeah totally um where have you traveled to and where would you say is like your favorite place my favorite place to travel um was when I went to Europe with my best friend before I was a blogger. Ooh, I really? haven't been back since, so we did it for a grad trip. Um, and we did Paris, and we did Nice, we did Monaco for a day, oh and then God, we did my Spain, like Barcelona after, and that yes. was amazing. And that was actually when I started posting more consistently on social uh-huh. media. Not as consistent as now, yeah. but I didn't even use hashtags or anything. I was like, I yeah. just want my feed to look pretty, because then it's inspiration for myself. Yeah. I'm sad, yeah. I just go on my own yeah. <laughs> I definitely want to go back to Europe. Um, I was in New York not too long ago, mm-hmm. and I really, really liked it. Yeah, that's on my list. Really? Because some people t- tell me, it's like, oh, don't bother. It's a dump. Um, so I'm, I have very yeah. mixed reviews. I was only there for four days, and uh-huh. we had um, places to go to every day, so yeah. maybe we just didn't go to, like, that area, yeah. because we had a like sets a set schedule kind okay, of yeah, not yeah. we were winging it but we had monuments we all wanted yeah. to see so we did like the Brooklyn Bridge um like the Empire State Building like got all the tourists the I guess places maybe where just it might like, not be dirty but they, I'm sure that yeah. like if, like, like stick to the key places. Yeah, I think, and the shopping like, must be good there, right? We didn't even have time to really oh, shop. Really? But, yeah, but that's oh, okay because we did a lot of things. That's like so. goals. It's yeah, like I'm gonna go there by everything. Because I heard they have crazy sample sales. Oh. But I think, yeah, I, I don't know which time dur- of the year, though, but I heard it's We're just going to have to plan it. I'm just going to put it in my calendar. Shopping trip, but I would love to go back to New York. We, totally. Um, like, it was, well, four days is a long time to spend in New York, actually. Yeah. We needed a couple more days, I think. Yeah. And I heard, like, in New York, there's some bars or clubs that are, like, speakeasy style. Yeah. Did you go to any Yeah, we went to one. Um, I forget what it's called. Oh, it's, it's called Please Don't Tell. Uh-huh. Um, and it was really cool. You go into, like, a phone booth. Oh, and then, a phone booth. And then you booth. ring the phone booth, and then, okay. like, another door in there opens. Wow. So that's how so do you know what to ring? Like, who, like, I think do you we find fa- it on, like, a website? Uh, we got recommended. Um, okay. Play, so someone's friend told us to go there, but I'm pretty sure it's on the internet. I was just in Montreal, and they have a lot of speakeasies, Really? Too. Oh, yeah. damn. I should have went to them when I was yeah. there, but I didn't know. You went to Montreal? Yeah, I went to Montreal last year, but only, like, three days, I think, mm-hmm. so I didn't get there. Like a I've always been much. meaning to go, but I yeah, just like go. I can't justify city. paying the airline ticket. Canada, yeah. right? It's you just gotta do it though. Once you get there, it'll all be worth it, and it's yeah. really affordable. Um, you can get Airbnbs for like not that much. Are at people all. Yeah. are quote unquote as rude as they say? I don't think people were rude. Um, okay, we were in Montreal though, but mm-hmm. I have heard that maybe Quebec City people aren't as friendly if you okay. don't speak French. Okay. But, East Coast people are really chill. Yeah. Um, everyone was That's really nice. I haven't yeah. even been to Toronto. 
Just oh, like, I'm so fair. <laughs> you're, you're a Vancouver. I'm like, I'm a West Coast girl, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but you've done like LA, right? Like the other West Coast cities? I've been to like, LA, uh -huh. but not like. Full on. I haven't like uh -huh. hung out there. Okay. Like, so I'm like trying yeah. to. I feel Every like time I'm like, it. yeah, I love LA. LA. I'm, I'm an LA so girl. Times. I know yeah. it. I don't even have to be there. Yeah. I've, been to, I've been to San Diego, and I'm just like, you know what? This is my people. Yes. San Diego. Oh, that's on my list. Yeah, I love San Diego. San Diego. Yes. It is amazing. Oh my gosh, I need and to the go. zoo. So, how many days would you say I would need to do San Diego? Because people were saying it's not that big. Like, yeah. Like well, days. for me, I wish I had an extra few days. I only went like four. Mm -hmm. So I wish I had like an extra two, three days. Yeah. Because I never even had a chance to go to Loyola, like where the, all the seals are. Oh, and like, okay. There's like a cave where you can explore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I kind of wish I had a few more days. Oh. So probably I would say maybe like six days is like six days. Wow. Okay. And I love it's Joshua Tree. Like it's like a, oh, yes. it's like a little bit higher up. I think it's in the desert. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Like you have to go. Yeah. Like, well, because I spent two days just bumming on the beach. Because mm -hmm. that's like something yeah. you don't have to do. When I was at Venice Beach like every day. <laughs> oh my god, I would be too actually. Just getting a tan. Yeah, I need a tan. Well, but yeah. you're going to LA. Totally. You gotta like drive along the coast. Yeah, and see all the Enjoy the weather. Yeah. yeah. Who, okay, who would you say are your dream collaborations that you would want to partner mm -hmm. with? There's, well, any brand that I love and have like used or shopped with yeah. for years because. It, like I do want to stay authentic. Yes. Um, I, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm always honest, like, I haven't shopped there in a while. Oh, really? well, I bought two pieces recently, but not as much as I used to. Yeah. yeah, I, yeah. I would love to work with Aritzia though. Um, I was gonna say Club Monaco. Oh I, yeah. I, Club Monaco. I own more pieces from Club Monaco than Aritzia. Okay, really? we're gonna hashtag. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna Club hashtag Monica. the crap out of Club Monaco <laughs> right now. Club Obviously Club Nordstrom. Monica. Yes. Um, the whole Renfrew, I love. To oh work yes. As well. Yeah. Uh, kind of weird, but like Kirkland. Oh, <laughs> really? Okay. Like, but, but oh. I don't think they need it. <laughs> like, I'm a Costco girl. <laughs> but actually, places where I have shopped at for my entire life and still shop. Yeah, at. yeah. yeah. Um, I do want to work with more furniture brands. Okay. Because I'm actually really into home decor. Like, yeah. Into my place, but yeah. I don't take photos of my home that yeah. much. Mm -hmm. Um. I would like to though because I yeah. know that's something people are interested in too. Okay. I love home decor. Yes. That's, but it's like all the little things, you know, like the yeah. over there. So I think I would need to get a couple accessories. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So okay. we gotta call some places. <laughs> yeah, like West Elm or Article. Oh yeah. Yeah. There's for just sure. there's so many. Like any rose brand. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> <my dream. laughs> We're all wine yeah. enthusiasts here. <laughs> or like I don't know, iPhone because I use yeah, I have been yeah. like approached yeah. by um other cell phone brands uh -huh. to work with them, but I just couldn't because it would be sense. But then you'd have to sense. use it. Yeah, and yeah, everyone knows yeah. I use an iPhone, so totally. there's no point in that. Yeah. Um, because I know I won't be able to train myself to use a new cell phone. Yeah. I just get way too frustrated. I can't imagine not using it. Yeah, I can't Unless do Android. Unless they pay me like a lot. <laughs> like if I'm honest, everyone has a price. Yeah, and yeah, I yeah, totally. hate that, but um, yeah. That's understandable. Yeah, <laughs> yeah definitely. Because yeah, it's not like they're like horrible company. Because mm -hmm. everyone does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're like, oh, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll be Jacqueline. She's like, what is this? <laughs> Samsung? <laughs> Throws like, it on the floor. I'm so loyal to iPhone. <laughs> I'm so loyal. I used to use a Blackberry, but now I'm an iPhone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you see, though, BBM Blackberry, life though. was the only life. Mm -hmm. The keyboard. It I actually didn't something. ever have a Blackberry. You so can many. get up and leave. <laughs> I was so left out. Get there. up and leave. Like, you have to BBM. I still use BBM on my iPhone. You like, what? I talked to one person, my boyfriend, but he used it on an Android. Because when we met, um, I think we both had Blackberries. I'm not 100% sure. Okay. Um, but for some reason, like, it's just, like... We text when the BBMs don't send through because sometimes it gets stuck. Oh, oh yeah, we, yeah. I don't know why. Like, it's just, That's it's so a different funny. bing. But is too, there like so he knows app? <laughs> yeah, there's a BBM app oh for my iPhone. God. Oh my god, we should BBM. Yeah, yeah, they update <laughs> really often. Too, we should actually. just exclusively BBM. Yeah, exclusively. <laughs> it'll be like a secret, like, yeah. Like, and we it. didn't have screenshots. Yeah. That, yeah. Like back when it's Blackberry and then you have to download a screen muncher. Oh my god, I remember screen muncher. Remember screen muncher? It goes like with the teeth. Yeah. Oh my god. And then I. I have like I on this to this day I still have some conversations with my friends. Yeah. 
that are just screen that's, munches, and it's like the weirdest so crap that I wrote like ten years ago, and I'm like, I don't know why I still have it, that's but too I funny. Just, just for memories. It's good though. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll read it back and I'll be like, wow, you were really racist. Like, <laughs> well, like, 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 why would you say that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna use that. Like Jeffree Star someone. Like, <laughs> you were racist six <laughs> years ago. Six I can't years. be your friend. <laughs> oh my god, horrible. So what would you say are your goals for your platform right now? Um, I do want to bring more of my Instagram followers onto my blog. Yes. I know that less people read my blog than mm -hmm. follow me on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I keep telling myself I have to start video. I mean, you guys are doing video yes. right now, which I think is so cool. You've mm -hmm. been vlogging forever. Mm -hmm. um, and I just, like, I have no excuse. I don't know why I haven't done it. And I guess it's just the type of person I am. <laughs> Maybe you just have to live not that. comfortable yeah. filming yourself. Um, or? Yeah, it, it takes a lot longer, too. Definitely. I have done some uh, videos for brands that mm -hmm. wanted them. Um, because they do pay way more yeah, for videos. Yeah. And you know, I think it was good practice for me because it really pushed me mm -hmm. to t take the video content. And you know, for video, you, like if you have a pimple, you can't edit that out. It's, no, it's yeah. there. <laughs> it's yeah. there. <laughs> um, and it just made me realize that not every like video or photo is going to be the perfect photo. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it's okay. Because, yeah. you know, like everyone wants everything to look super staged like totally, it's staged yeah. most of course, bloggers yeah. photos That's are staged yeah. and you know the fake candid shot like casually like, standing casually like laughing <laughs> um, so yeah definitely um need to eventually get into video i think i'm gonna have to um if i want to keep doing this you should. Yeah. yeah totally uh and um be more of a lifestyle blogger mm. than only fashion because okay. whenever new people see my feed, they're like, oh, you're a fashion blogger. But, I, mm -hmm. you know, I do travel a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I do want to get more into beauty. I'm not a makeup artist, so I can't yeah, do yeah. tutorials, mm -hmm. but I can talk about my routine or my favorite yeah, products. Yeah, yeah. I think a lot of people I do volunteer that, yeah. to do your makeup. Oh, she's a makeup, makeup artist. artist. I am a makeup artist. A certified artist. makeup artist. I'm so certified Blanche McDonald. Yeah, I yeah, actually yeah. work um, freelance. I do Holt Renfrew. And some oh my god, you've stars. done her makeup before. Yeah, I wish it about it. Okay. Okay. That yeah, was me. Yeah, yeah. That was her. <laughs> okay. So well, we should do I that. Mean, that would be sure. really fun, You actually, can describe your routine and I can do it for yes. you. That would be fun. Yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> I have so much respect for makeup artists because it's hard. It's so and hard. I can't have a smoky eye to save my life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, mm, just keep blending. Maybe if I just keep smoking, it'll be okay. <laughs> There's a lot of little tricks that they taught us in school. With, yeah. You have to, like, use a pencil to start with because if you just use powder, it's going to start eye. layering too much, uh -huh. and then it's going to start kind of, like, creasing and cracking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll show you. Okay. We'll do okay. that next we'll time. We'll do, like, awesome. little trade trade secrets. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me yeah. and for the champagne. For the champagne, <laughs> always. I know. We were just like, Cheers. Cheers. So make sure to follow Flora at the Flora Law mm -hmm. Are you on guys gonna, like, Instagram. Or yes, and we can add it to the video too on YouTube if you guys watch us I'll on just YouTube. Wherever. <laughs> <laughs> and is there anywhere uh, else that you want people to follow you? Your blog? Um, yeah, you can find that on my Instagram though. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Let us know. I'm a follower now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're all followers. You've gained a new follower. Oh, thanks. And let us know in the comments what you guys thought of this episode. If you guys want us to do more collaborations, and or if you have any questions, yes, we can yes. pass it along. Yep. Totally. In the comments, I can reply to them. Yeah, yeah. She can reply. I love <laughs> yeah, she can reply to them. Ask her on her page. You know, all around. Yeah. yeah. So thank you so much, mm. and we will see you guys next time. Bye, Bye. babes. Thank you so much for listening. If you are a glow babe who enjoyed our podcast, it would mean so much to us if you leave us a review on iTunes. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe on iTunes, Spotify, and YouTube. Our account is Glow Radio Co. Stay sassy, babe. Keep listening if you babes want to hear some bonus content. So our mic was still recording after the podcast and our conversation continued. We thought it was pretty interesting, so decided to include some of it at the end of this podcast. Here we're chatting about how long our podcast episodes are, as Flora was wondering how long we usually record for. So stay tuned and keep listening. Between like half an hour to an hour. Okay, so that was, was about, like a that was about like 20 something minutes, so I feel yeah. like that's like, you know...
it, I feel like it just depends on how much we have to talk about. Yeah, because we try to keep it lax. Like, we're not, we don't want to, like, find something to say when there's nothing yeah, totally. to say. Like, we'd rather just keep it, take it easy. Yeah. Like, I've seen some podcasts where they're literally just sitting there like, hey, how are you? And then they're, like, typing on something. Oh, you can hear the typing. And then you're just kind of, like... Or we watch them okay. on YouTube because there's, like, vlog casts mm-hmm. or whatever. I don't know what they're called. Yeah. And then they're really chill in the beginning. I wonder if, you, like, um, if there's any places nearby, like, restaurants or, like, a lounge or something you could do that at. Because um, I've done one other, like, interview before, mm-hmm. but the sound quality was so bad they couldn't use it. Oh, really? Um, but it was awesome. Like, it was, they were just, like, ordering drinks and just, like, talking yeah, yeah. and chilling. Yeah. If you want to make it, like more lax which like I love that vibe yeah, yeah. yeah. like podcast life is more lax I'm it's gonna try so much more lax. well that we've been my... trying to figure out how to like set it up so it's more like comfortable and like maybe yeah. we can have you know the light helps a lot because our yeah. first few episodes we didn't use it and they were like super dark but we just like put it out there anyway because mm-hmm. the audio is fine and then yeah. we just got this mic like I think after episode five so it made a big difference too because I used to use like I had a I had a like extension that I would plug into my camera mm-hmm. but it was a that little bit audio. yeah it would be too far though like that like. I just think it's awesome that you guys are doing it because so many people talk about like actually so many people I know are like yeah. I need to do a podcast and then they like don't oh already. yeah and you're doing the video yeah and you guys have okay. nine episodes that's so cool I can't believe I'm the first guest yeah. the first. we're just trying to work on our game and like, totally well, just so build up experience kind of like the I guess the theme is it just like girl talk or is it like social media like girl talk mainly with, girl talk with sassy good vibes so we talk about everything like career relationships uh health and fitness embarrassing moments embarrassing moments like just like whatever we're interested in so it's just like conversation mm. if you guys yeah. are doing embarrassing like I think someone needs to do something where the theme is like blogger like I hate that word like blogger yeah. influencer yeah um but like I'm such an embarrassing person. <laughs> like, actually, so when people like look at my feed, they're like, "Oh, like everything looks." I'm like, "Yeah, I have no idea." Like, I just, I don't. Know. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. Yeah. Like when that episode comes out, like I just like. We were talking about um, embarrassing crushes and embarrassing moments. Yeah, that was like a, we were talking about boy crushes <laughs> in like when we were younger. Oh, that's a timer. I should do like it would be such a cool like podcast trip. Yeah, we should. No, do, like, our goal is trip. like once like, we like, start building. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What we're was doing... it called? It was called Glow on the Road. Glow on the Road, yeah. Yes. It was called Glow on the Road. We'll we wanted that. to do like vlog, ca- like vlog it and like whatever. Yeah, we'll like... have like a separate vlog channel and this. I'm so excited to see like how this like plays out. For... It's like it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, but... I'm excited. Yeah. We're gonna work really hard. Yeah, we're at doing it. so. We're doing this, and we're actually learning how to do lash extensions. You too. really? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> wow. What? what? <laughs> like, why? Is this the new trend? Like, am I missing Whoa. out on something? Us and my other friend Christine were all like doing it together so we can hold like lash parties and like it'll be more luxurious kind of thing. Yeah. Like we don't want to just have like come over and get your lashes done. Like we want to treat you like royalty and like throw soirees. (laughs) It'll be fun. Yeah. I can help you plan it. I love yeah, that. Sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll do like events and stuff. Yeah, because it's, it's just so a fun. way. Like, Glow on the road sound has like a ring to it. Yeah, right? Glow on the road. Right? That's what I'm saying. Like, we should just like, sometimes we might just go somewhere and mm. maybe we should do a podcast like out somewhere. Yeah. And then people it will go on the road. People actually did. So, one of my, like, what are your favorite podcasts? Like, just, I pretty I love... much listened to a lot of like a girly ones. Yeah. Like, there was like, what? It was like a the makeout one. Oh no, a no, group no. of African American chicks. Uh, like, I don't. Know I can't the name, remember though. what it was called, but they were like yeah. s- hella sassy. Um, sassy. My favorite one is called the Bitch Bible. Ooh, Ooh I do too. Like, and she, that. she's just one girl. Um, uh-huh. And like, I think so. I listened to her like way in the beginning. I don't know how I found her. Like, just for some reason, I found her. Yeah, like, she yeah. wasn't big or anything. Okay. And um, yeah. she's actually like. A really, and she's like twenty, like she's like around our age, maybe okay. like one or two years older. So yeah. I, I think when she was doing the podcast, she was just doing it because she really loved to, like, like just to register speak, a yeah. pod, like mm. um, record a podcast. Oh yeah. Um, but it became something because she, like, she, this girl could have been a comedian. Like, Wait, what is she oh talking about? Um, oh, everything. Just like um, you. So she doesn't even have guests. She, it's like her talking. Oh, well, that's crazy. Well, I think now half of the time that, that she's popular, she has guests. Yeah. She's really into reality television. So okay. she talks about that. She talks about like 
for just like bitchy stuff. Oh, and it's like, me too. It's not for everyone, know, but it's I'm just like, like if you're sarcastic and have a dry it. sense of humor, then yeah, you're like, yeah, like, you yeah. mean that's me on that's the daily. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, like, if she and it, it took her a while to pick up though, like in the beginning, okay, she had like, no ad, no responses, nothing. The quality was a little bit like, mm, but the I still listened because like this girl was so funny. Okay, I'm gonna, and now she's with like an agent, like, oh my god, and you know what, like. No, she I didn't do it, but she did it because she wanted to, and yeah. she's killing it, and it's... That's yeah, crazy. Sorry, yeah, like, now she has a cover and, like, everything. Wow. What? Well, I I listen to a lot of self-help ones, so they're mm-hmm. not just, like, they're not that funny, but I listen to, like, Beauty in the Vlog. Okay. I think it's called YouTube Power Hour now, so she interviews, like, YouTubers mm-hmm. and talks about their journey, and I used to listen to Lewis Howes a lot. It's called The School of Greatness, mm-hmm. and, like, he interviews, like, big people, like, Tony Robbins and like random like figures and that's, that's about cool. like I don't think that's I listen like to stuff that because like, people are always recommending me I don't listen to <laughs> funny <laughs> stuff that much I will <laughs> I kind of listen to them honestly is when I'm driving yeah or, yeah because I drive to my mom's and sometimes in like traffic it's like <laughs> oh my god I like need a freaking podcast mm-hmm. yeah yeah like something like because I'm so sick of the radio all the time yeah the radio stuff and I love I'm obsessed with Rhett and Link and they have a podcast oh yeah, Ear yeah biscuits yeah. and I listen to that all oh. the time because I love I'm very like I'm a comedy person yeah, yeah, yeah. or I listen to yeah, um yeah. like sales kind of podcast <laughs> like, like how to sell well, how to be the greatest salesman I'm like yes <laughs> I'm so okay. excited for you guys this is gonna be awesome I'm excited like, for I like it when people do new yes. things and, and are good at it well we're just trying to just build everything we want to yeah. do we're trying to build it into one so we can just enjoy our lives yeah, rather yeah. than like uh, how did you so or... how do you guys have time for all of this no, we just like make just time. Make I think right? we were gonna make an episode about that. Yeah, how we schedule our work full time. And there's no excuses. You like just literally, do it. like you're. We do it like, once, usually once a week. This is a special week because we're doing two episodes. Like, but then recording. we have next week off. Though. Yeah, we have next week off, so we just record once a week. I don't know. I make time to edit. Like I, I usually edit before work. During lunchtime and then after work, exactly. or like I'll take photos and stuff like for my we'll own stuff. Work. That too and. On yeah. the weekend. So we pretty much, our schedule is like Monday, we meet for lashes. Oh, practice lashes, Tuesday, yeah. Tuesday, we kind of do our own thing after yeah. work. Wednesday, we meet for podcasts. Thursdays, if we need to meet, we meet. Yeah, yeah. And then Fridays are usually boyfriend days. <laughs> and then uh, uh, for me on the weekends, I do the freelance work. So she works like seven days a week. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Like, yeah, you need to like put word out there. I feel like it's because, I don't know, our mindset is similar. That's why we can do this. It's just like when we meet, it's like we have to get it done. It's not like, oh, let's meet, like, for fun. It's an option. Like, no, it's like it's work. Because we want to quit our day job. Yeah, like, like, I was just like, I don't want to sit around doing Mm -hmm. nothing for the rest of my life. Like, I want to enjoy it. And how did you decide that, like, two people was going to be enough? We just didn't have anyone else interested in them. (laughs) We we, don't have have any other friends. Well, I think the two works out better because the, then you can, like, talk. Yeah, well, the last thing is, like, three of us. But I feel like if it's more, then it's going to start getting complicated because then everyone has their own opinions. And, and their schedule is different, mm-hmm. too. Like, it's hard to yeah. coordinate. It would be too hectic. So I think leaving it up to three people, I think it's, like, a lot already. Yeah, I feel like three is a good yeah, amount. Like, and we've discussed it for and a while. Did. And we we had so many meetings just yeah, to make yeah. sure we're on the right page. Yeah. And, like, this is exactly how we're going to execute it, and I think yeah. that's why it works. And I feel like, I don't know, it's definitely really hard to find people that you want to do things mm-hmm. with. Like, I feel like we work really well together because yeah. we just, like, get it done. Yeah. And, and you guys wanted this, like, you want to quit your day job. Yeah, so we cool. both want to yeah. quit our day jobs, and we literally talk about it all the time. Like, we're just, like, texting each yeah. other about, like, mm-hmm. stuff. Yeah. Well, I quit my long-term job, and I told them, I was like, I have to make it on my own. Like, I'm, yeah. like, I don't want to be here anymore. So, yeah, now I still have a 9 to 5, but it's not, like, a long-term career mm-hmm. thing. It's yeah, just, like, yeah. whatever pays the bills while I work on my yeah. dreams. Right now, I'm working logistics. Okay, cool. It's just, like, office yeah. work. Just, like, yeah. basic. Mm-hmm. I'm just, like, That's whatever. Crazy. I pay the bills. Mm-hmm. But then my freelance work is where I get to do things that I like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, So I'm yeah. building experiences in there, and then we're doing this for fun. And then yeah, yeah. I'm we're just going to, like, this. merge all of it yeah. together. I mean, well, you guys, like, one day this is going to be profitable, right? Yeah, that's definitely. Yeah. No, that that's is, our goal. That is the yeah. goal. Like, we want to make it big. So. But mainly have fun. Like, yeah, I don't want to be, like, miserable. Of course. And, you know. But I feel like it's already fun. Like, I don't feel like it's, like, it's not work miserable work. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So, like, I'm willing to put time in it. Mm-hmm. 
And then yeah. have fun editing our Instagram. Yeah, like it's fun. But I think a lot of people just don't get that mindset, which is like, I feel like it's rare to find people who want to work when they're not at their day job or whatever yeah. their job is. Yeah, you know? I think that's the thing where it's like they get home and they just like can't think or do anything anymore. And I, like even when I first started doing Instagram, like that's... Or, like, when I set up my blog, like, yeah. I was doing everything at night because it was the only time yeah, I had yeah, exactly. on the weekend when I wasn't working. Yeah. But I, I don't know. Like, I, I don't know what the difference is. I would hate to think that, like, some people just have more determination than others. Like, I think maybe I they're just, their goals are different, right? Yeah. And their mindset yeah. is different, which is... And it's all, and it's building habits, too. Yeah. And it's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's just, like, they're not like That's just not what their, like, end game yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they don't really totally. care as much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We just keep improving too. Like I feel like the first few episodes, now that I watched them, like, oh, I can't I'm like wait. Cringe. I'm, I'm like, like oh. I can't wait for them to like roll out more because like we didn't get the mic yet and the lighting wasn't good and yeah. whatever, but like it's like constantly improving. So I feel like that's And I feel thing. like once we get more stuff or have like a different setup, I'm gonna be like, Oh these yeah. old episodes, <laughs> oh. like why? But it's, yeah. like, nice to see the journey to it. Totally, I mean, like, sometimes yeah. when I scroll way back on my Instagram, I'm just like, oh, <laughs> so great. Like, <laughs> yeah, you're like so Ooh. great. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, should I archive them? I'm like, no, I'm going to, like, leave them there. Yeah. I yeah. want people to find it. But then yeah. they're just going to have to, they're going to just yeah. come for, like, ever. Totally. But it's a good, like, reminder, because it's like, this is where I came from. Yeah, like, this yeah. is how much I've exactly. improved. Mm -hmm. Thanks for having me. That was really fun. Yay. We had fun.